Hello everyone, and welcome to another T-Tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up multiple tracks of audio in OBS Studio, as well as use a plugin called Source Record in order to record individual scenes or sources. That way you can have not only your audio separated in case you wanted to remove a particular aspect like your music, desktop audio, or what have you, as well as a separate recording of, say, your camera without all the overlay setup and things like that. Now, most of this is going to be just set up inside of OBS, but there is just a plugin you will need to get, which is, of course, Source Record, and we'll show you that here in just a minute. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and get Source Record. I will have the link in the description, and you could do the installer if that's what you use. Or if you happen to be running a portable version, you will use the zip and drop it into the OBS folder like you would in any other plugin. Now I have a fairly simple setup for OBS here. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is actually come into this setup here, right click where our audio mixer is. And we're gonna want to go to advanced audio properties. And the main thing we're gonna do here is keep track of what all of these are for the tracks. Because each one of these, when you record, will be put into its own track, depending on the format that you actually record with. So the idea is we want to have our desktop audio to say go to track one. We want this one, which is my microphone, to go to track two. And this one, which is my music, to go to track three. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all of these because I don't need them. But one thing to keep in mind is you will need to have all of the audio that you have set up to be in at least one of these tracks. In this case, I will select six because I want six to be the track that the stream hears, right? So I'll leave that on for all of these. If I wanted to, let's say that I had a video that had sound, I'll have that go to my desktop track, which would be number one. And the webcam, uh, if we had one, let's say we would have that go to the two track, which would be our microphone. Go ahead and close that and we'll go to settings now in settings you want to take a look at output for streaming you want to make sure that you have six selected for whichever track that you intend to have the stream to hear and you can only select one of these so you have to just make up your mind on which one you want to use and if you go to recording you will want to select all the tracks that you want to have show up in your recording if you want to you can even have six on there as well. I usually just leave it off because I'm already capturing all the other tracks anyways. You'll want to typically choose MKV because this is the most reliable format. If your OBS crashes or anything, you won't completely lose the recording. And we can also have OBS remux it to an MP4 file for us anyways. You choose where you want the file to be saved to. And there isn't a whole lot else you need to do for this particular part. You go to the audio tab. You'll see that each individual, tr individual tracks, you can name these if you wanted to, so I can help all this one like desktop, mic, and music. You may or may not use the names of these. You don't have to, it's just optional. It can sometimes make things a little easier to understand later. The last thing you'll wanna do is go ahead and go to advanced. And in the advanced tab, you want to click this, the automatically remux to MP4. If you want it to automatically create a duplicate of the MKV to an MP4, and the main reason for that is it typically is more compatible with video editing software. Although some can take MKVs, a lot of times you still need to change it. I also suggest putting a tag or some kind of thing that you can identify on the front because we're going to have two separate recordings. One, which will be the main one, which is why I called it main. And another one that would be for your camera or game, depending on how you want to set it up. That's all we'll be doing there. And like I said, you have a basic setup, gaming ch uh, scene, chatting scene, and then I have a separate camera scene for a reason. And I'll show you exactly why here. Let's say you have a bunch of UI set up. You want to border around your camera and you want to have, say, an image mask so that it cuts it out. So if I'm in the just chatting, you can see the background. If I'm in the gaming, you have that. You can put whatever you need, however you need it, but it's best to put it inside of a nested scene 
so you can separate all those things. So now we're going to actually work on getting our separate recording of just the camera that we want to have. And so we'll go to the camera scene or go to the webcam and we're going to add a filter. And in this filter, we're going to add source record. And I'm just going to leave it in that. You're going to choose the recording mode, whichever one you typically are going to use. If you want it to record when you're streaming, it'll automatically start when you're streaming. I usually tell it to do it when I'm recording because then I hit the record down here, right? And then it will start recording here as well. Now we don't want this one to be main. We'll name it cam so that we can identify it uh, separate from the other one. And you would choose your destination. I typically put it like in recording so that they all end up in the same place. Again, leave it MKV. And you can also set up replay buffers if that's if you happen to use those. The main thing I would do is I would probably choose different audio track. If you want to set if you want to record a specific track. And so in the case of the camera, I probably would only really want the microphone. So I can choose track two because that is the track that I am designating for the microphone. And then you also have source options if you wanted to pick one of those, but I'll just use the track. Now, if I want to, I can go ahead and show you this. I'll switch over here. Uh, let me go ahead. And I got a game running here off to the side and I can start playing the music. So you can see that we'll have some audio from the game. And we'll have music, as you see down here, and the microphone as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start recording. So we can have all of these going at the same time. Which is a little confusing looking over here. And we don't need a lot. I just need to be able to show you how all this works. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually stop recording. It's going to go ahead and remux our main. We'll turn off the music here and I'll probably close down the game as well. Now, one thing to note is whenever you do the source record, it will not automatically get remuxed into an MP4. So it will have to go to file and remux recordings. What you want to do is you'll select that file and we'll be able to identify it because it will be named cam. Open, put that there and then remux. And close. So now we can go ahead and just get this thing out of the way. And we'll go ahead and take a look at it inside of Premiere. So we will have our two recordings, our cam and main MP4. And I'll go ahead and drag these guys into here. And you'll see we have these two. And so if I drag this into here, recording, so we can, can have all of these going at the same time. If I mute this, you won't hear my microphone anymore. If I mute this, you won't hear the game. If I mute this, you won't hear the music. And so I can pick whichever one of these I want. And we don't need a lot. I just need to be able to show you how all this works. Stop and that gives us complete freedom in order to edit this however we need. Now I'll just scoot this out of the way real quick and I'll drag in our just camera one so we can have all of these going at the same time. And as you'll see, it's only the vi Which camera video confusing looking over here with the microphone audio. And so that will save you a lot of time of having to cut out and a we bunch don't of need stuff. A if you only want the camera. Now you might find yourself in a scenario where your particular editing software does not allow you to access these separate audio tracks. In that case, we're actually gonna be using this script right here, which uses FFmpeg in order to extract the audio from the MP4 file into individual files that you can then edit on their own. Now, the first thing we're gonna need to do actually is download from this site. I will put a link to this page, but you're gonna want the latest build 
master build and the FFM peg get full not 7z and what I'm gonna do in this particular case is I'm gonna just open this up I'm gonna go ahead and grab this file and I'm gonna stick it inside of my recording folder and I'm actually just gonna rename it real quick ffmpeg just so it's easier to find I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna go into bin and we're gonna come back to our browser here back to this page link in the description to go ahead and download the script file that we're gonna need now we're gonna take all the stuff here put it into that ffmpeg folder that we had right there and we're gonna go ahead and go back to the base of our recording I'm gonna go ahead and select the bat file right here right right click on it drag it over and I'm gonna create a shortcut and so what that'll do is it'll create a shortcut to this batch file that's inside of this ffmpeg window we won't need that there and I'm gonna take our main that we recorded drop it onto this it might squawk at you run it anyway and it will go ahead and print that enter close that and what it'll do is it'll create individual tracks or files for the tracks so if I open this up this is the desktop audio so it'd be the game in this case you can hear it number two will be so the microphone all these going at the same time that we recorded and three will be the music And so now, if you have a scenario where your software does not access those individually in order to use these, and so if I went ahead and cleared these out, and let's say I take this, I'm going to go ahead and unlink and remove all of these tracks. So now I can add them in separately. recording so we can have all these going at the same and I can edit these as necessary but just in case you end up using something that does not allow you to use those tracks on it on its own and that's that's pretty much it now you have all the assets you need in order to edit all of your stuff whenever you need to and if you happen to want to record say your game right and have that its own thing then you can once again add another source record for instance and you know give it its own name similar to how we did the other one and tell it if you wanted to record the desktop audio or what have you and then you will have separate recording of your game your camera and of course the whole stream if you really wanted to and then use them in any way you see fit and there you go so hopefully that can help you with all your editing needs and give you the bits and pieces you need to set it up however you want. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.